Hey guys, hello from Cosmos to Europe AG and this is gonna be uh, a long-awaited video on, on uh, self-explanations, uh, overview and talking about selves. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with with my mage because uh, both of them have uh, different selves so that's why um, it helps. My knight has Iris and um, got a Pam here as well but my mage will talk about Pam and uh, Gaia, my um, <clears throat> mage has uh, the Pam, the Amazon and the Hades. Uh, I don't have the Apollo but I'll still talk about him. So um, maybe let's go one by one. So starting with the first one, uh, Iris. Um, now I'm just gonna give the general um, logic of the things. Um, each sylph does give various passives. Like uh, you see that on, on the bottom right side. Um, you can see what each one of them gives and that is um, important but less important in a way um, actually a lot of the self decisions that people make is based on class wars because um, the more successful you can be in class wars uh, the more uh, crystals you can get to spend in, in the glory shop um, and if you manage to get into the top 100 uh, then you can get a lot more glory crystals to buy a lot more stuff. Other than that, um, it's less important um, all the other events. Class Wars is really uh, in a league of its own and uh, as such people make choices based on, on, on Class Wars. Um, I'll also say what the choices would be if you would take other things into account. So take Iris for example. Iris is, is the best sylph that you can have um, if you are only interested in doing PvE, player versus environment, meaning just doing dungeons with your friends, for example. That is the best sylph you can help your friends with. Having a, a purple iris, for example, blue one is fine also, purple or more. Um, you can help your party immensely with a skill Rain Dance, which heals everybody. It's really awesome. Um, the attack powers of Iris are, are not too much to speak of. Uh, you will never impress anybody with the with the Delphic um, or, or with the regular attack. Some of the other skills are also quite um, quite interesting that Iris has, um, like the, the the ice armor cleanses debuffed allies. That's good. Um, a lot of people are using the tsunami as well. But basically not going into too much detail about it, Iris is mostly about um, support. Call it a support self and it's the best friend a party can have. Um, so that, that is really like the key message of Iris and the only time you would use it also for your personal needs is if, um, if it was the best one you have. So for example, my Iris is level 3 star blue on my knight and let's go to, to the stats and um, with the three stars blue um, before I had the Gaia uh, blue um, that was really the best self I had I could have used uh, a green Gaia or a green Amazon uh, I don't remember if I had one um, but basically just based on where you invested your Maris if you invested most of them into the Iris then it will still be better than any other self where you didn't invest, so that's pretty logical. But still, what what you mainly do with Iris is you do your normal things, then you activate, you heal the party, you heal an individual, and then you cancel the activation. Um, you can play around with the other skills, but that's mostly what people are looking for uh, when we're talking about Iris. Next, we'll talk about Pam. I'll switch to my mage for that. Got a blue Pam here. And Pam is very interesting. Um, Sylph, it was the first, uh, let's say, Sylph that Mages took up. Um, so, um, okay, let, let's do one step back on Iris. So, on Iris, um, you would never have Mages uh, using Iris against one another because Iris is doing magic damage and Mages have very high magic uh, defense. So. They receive very little damage from Iris, so that, that point was interesting. So that's why the Pan was the first Sylph that the Mages started using against each other, 
because it was the it, it's a physical attack sylph it does have very nice area damages um it has other skills as well of course but uh, just talking about the basics it's a very good uh sylph uh to to have before we had other things uh, as you see on the mage account once amazon came out then um i switched immediately to amazon because um it's just superior to pan um on many angles the, the difference mainly they're both physical attack sylphs uh, the main difference uh, why Amazon is is superior is because um, because it's a, it's single attack is just enormously powerful and has very nice um, bleeding and uh, debuff uh, skills, kind of like damnation. Um, but mostly it's the single attack that is very powerful. Uh, when I go to Belground and when it, uh, when the time comes that I'm going to hit somebody with a single attack. It, it can almost take an entire person out straight away it's that powerful more than uh, more than that uh, you have the the passive from the Amazon is actually increasing your attack which is increasing your earnings from the world boss so that in that sense the um, I switched immediately uh, from pan to Amazon uh, even though my pan was already blue so that's the story with uh, with a pan and Amazon now at the same time um, on my Knights account uh, I'll explain Gaia because um, the same way as let's say you switch from a pan to Amazon the same way in a way you would switch from Iris to a Gaia is because they're both magic attack Knights um, and when, when I talk about Knights this also applies to Archers because Knights and Archers are in physical attack category so um, Knights and Archers are usually looking for a magic attack so that's why um, you could get the physical attack sylphs but really you want to get the magic attacks because um, you already have physical attacks so you want to supplement with something you don't have so <coughs> um, the reason here I switched to Gaia is mostly because again Gaia is exactly the same logic like the Amazon but for magic attack uh, with additional uh, point a guy also gives the same exact same increase in attack um, the only difference with with Gaia and Amazon is um, let's say Gaia is more quick and um, because um, it does really much stronger damage so here you see the Delphic of Gaia is 470 percent plus 515 and from from Amazon is 440 percent plus 515 and that 30 percent does make a difference also Gaia has the the passive that you can purchase uh, you see I have it unstable voltage and every time um, Gaia is hit the damage is increased so this is really um, useful when you can stand in the front um, and and um, have your enemy just keep hitting you um, and increasing your damage so for example if, if there's somebody with Templars you stand in the front you activate the Gaia uh, very quickly you'll get um, up to 50% increase in attack and then you can do some serious damage uh, which is um, really awesome with Amazon it's different with Amazon you need to get uh, grab some other skills um, like I said the um, the bleeding effect of Amazon is very good um, but the thing is with the Amazon it takes time but that's okay um, for let's say mage versus mage battles as they do take time so the more of the bleeding things you can stack up uh, the, the better the better for you so um, and you can of course add this to kind of a bleeding rune so you can have a lot of life going out every turn um, and also because it's so difficult for mages to to get uh, physical defense um, that's where the Amazon really excels it can really hurt your your enemy big time so um, for let's say newer players I recommend iris uh, as a as a kind of a everybody should have an iris let's say um, you don't have to level it up uh, I mean you don't have to invest Mars in it you can farm iris let's say it can be part of your uh, if you do um, circuit quest it can be part of that sooner or later you'll have a green one sooner or later you'll have a blue one and that's enough um, and, and um, if you can get, save up some money for 
um, some bound balance or the, the get free balance on my blog um, and buy rain dance that, that's all you really need and sometimes when you go to dungeons and you don't have a mage or you have one mage you can support with rain dance um, perfectly well now uh, for that from there on uh, let's say all the classes um, they, they, they separate knights and archers uh, go in direction of, of Gaia and um, the mages go in direction of Pan uh, first then if, if let's say you're not powerful enough to get Amazon for example then Amazon and then uh, for those who can uh, Hades the Hades is the next one I want to talk about it is um, I already spoke a bit about Hades in my Hades demo video so you can check that out as well but basically Hades is another physical attack so um, it actually stacks up exactly like uh, I have them here Pan then Amazon then Hades now um, the choice between Amazon and Hades is, is more difficult to make um, but still Hades I think uh, is, is a better choice for mages than Amazon again taking into account the uh, class wars mostly the reason for that is because Hades has a uh, a really awesome um, Delphic uh, which is a whole area Delphic and it can also add up uh, add a bleeding effect so um, you can you can start with that and and that would um, really um, let's say clean up anything um, that is alive and, and, and uh, do some serious damage but you see that um, the damage itself that it does is is 310 percent compared to the 440 or 470 percent of the Amazon and Gaia so it is less powerful but it can put um, uh, this bleeding effect he can also heal himself which uh, which is really good and he can also cut the healing of the enemy in half uh, so uh, if you imagine mage versus mage battles uh, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that uh, your opponent is going to heal and before that you can cast um, where is that let me just quickly find that 50% reduces effect this one uh, devil's gaze and it lasts for three rounds so you can um, you don't have to get it exactly on the correct round you know roughly speaking you're gonna hit him with something strong uh, he'll need to heal so uh, you, you put this before you hit him with something strong or hit him with something strong and then you put this and then he, he'll be unable to heal which is a, a, a big trouble for, for a mage um, let's say fight he also has an attack uh, like I mentioned where he, he attacks and heals himself that's also very good um, now I know that mages have healing but that adds um, that, that gives a yeah an, an extra edge to it um, this one uh, is also really nice increasing damage by 30% although receiving damage 10% more hey this is a kind of he's got a little bit of everything in a way kind of a joker but he's a very he is a very powerful sylph and I think on, on um, later on um, he'll play a huge role in PvP battles specifically uh, you wouldn't necessarily take Hades to to dungeons um, I'd, I'd see Amazon doing better in dungeons than Hades for example um, on on the knight side um, and knight and archer side Gaia is a perfect companion to places like spire or dungeons simply because um, there are boss fights and Gaia is doing tremendous damage so um, she is literally the best sylph out there for um, you know for damage output so uh, if you want to finish things faster if you want to finish things more successfully um, actually if, and if you have enough money let's say um, everybody uh, should have in a way a Gaia uh, because uh, makes a huge difference uh, for mages I think the choice is more difficult for knights and archers I think is pretty straightforward uh, some people actually invest in, in a higher grade of iris that is also a possible choice and that is a, a kind of a fantastic uh, team friendly choice let's say um, but if you uh, also take into account that you're gonna do um, necropolis that you're gonna do spire um, that you're gonna do um, I, I, I wouldn't say tower of kings for tower of kings let's say 
the bear the better sylphs are um, iris uh, pan and uh, apollo now uh, a word about apollo i don't have him to show you directly but um apollo and um, the good thing about apollo is that he's got two very powerful area attacks his healing is useless and and um, other things are mostly useless it's just those two powerful area attacks so um, those things are, 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 are really awesome because uh, both in class wars in places like Tower of Kings um, it really cleans up the area uh, hits everybody um, that's where uh, Gaia for example has a disadvantage if you go to Tower of Kings with Gaia and you activate it um, she will, she'll have problem hitting somebody uh, because their their formation is put in such a way that she will only hit one person whereas at the same time Apollo would hit all all the persons uh, the pan would hit all the persons uh, Iris would heal and hit all the enemy uh, so um, it, they're really situational and uh, when when uh, my party has a problem in in Tower of Kings I, I switch directly to Iris so I can heal the party and do a little bit of Delphic. Um, otherwise, Inspire, I always use uh, Gaia. Um, it, it's really situational for dungeons. I also use Gaia. Um, Amazon does really good. Um, and um, I, I'll be using Hades more once he levels up. It's really difficult to level up Sylphs if you're holding level. On my mage, I'm holding at 59. Um, and uh, is very very difficult. A lot a lot of the experience from the level uh, comes from the form uh, that I am meditating them. Um, that's let's say the biggest way I can level them up while holding level. So um, let's let's make a recap of the whole thing. Iris, everybody should have one because uh, you never know wh who you can help. So get one in any case. Have one. Um, and over time, you'll if you have a white one, is fine. I, over time, you'll get green, you'll get blue. That's that's not a problem. Um, you see here, I have two which are meditating on my knight's account. They're white, uh, pan, and iris. I actually don't need them, but that's a trick you can also do. You can increase level of somebody you don't need. Um, if you think in the future, you can feed them to a, a sylph that you do need. So my Iris is level 80, my guy is level 79. But if I if I get one more Sylph, let's say a for example for knights and archers, it's good to have a third Sylph uh, Apollo, for example. Um, then I can feed these two um, into the Apollo, and and he'll directly have a higher level. For mages, um, it's less interesting to have Apollo. It's more interesting to have things like Pan. Um, Amazon and Hades so you're, you're seeing that the physical attack and for archers and knights the magic attack so that is the Iris the Gaia and the Apollo so <laughs> that's about it now if you talk about specific events like uh, let's uh, let me open the dailies so not to miss something uh, for uh, world boss uh, Gaia is um, you know really you can't compete with her uh, so a guy is the best for the world boss uh, for the battleground um, that's uh, that's similar to the class wars uh, with the only difference that of course in the battlegrounds you get to fight all the classes so there it doesn't apply anymore that um, you, you need you need a specific self against a, your specific class um, of, of course there it helps to have a self that hits everybody um, but for example mages with their rain of fire and fireball they can usually cl clean up the troops uh, so there I would say Amazon would do better because then you can hit the, the enemy directly Amazon or Gaia actually um, for mages and for, for knights and archers again you have to clean up the troops if, if you can't clean up the troops the knights can get um, this talent over here um, for the whirlwind to reduce the time and um, the the bleeding effect is irrelevant it's the time so you can get two whirlwinds out if necessary um, clean up the troops then you can switch to your Gaia that'll be fine for archers similar with the lunatic fire you can clean up the troops um, that'll be good and then you can use um, as an archer again any single attack damage um, so for for battlegrounds uh, that will be fine any single attack you can use Hades you can use um, Gaia you can use Amazon 
so you can try that out just basically you'll have to use the best one you have for battlegrounds for group arena um, there really uh, things shine with area damage so that is iris for healing everybody or apollo for healing everybody or uh, hades but uh, his um, his delphi comes a little bit late so uh, so that's about um, group arena um, and for class wars i said for dungeons i said so i think that's about it uh, for the overview for the sylphs i hope you guys found that useful if you did please do click on like and subscribe below the video and share it with friends on twitter google facebook whatever um and you got my links in the description uh, for my blog for my facebook um and yeah so that's it and if you want to go and check out some um some games on kabam uh you can type in a word on kabam in google or you can go to kabam.com and check out the stuff they got there and um i think that's about it so thanks for watching and have a very nice day